Hi, I'm Jeff Jordan. Welcome to Wisdom on Wednesdays. This is episode number 10. It's also the fourth episode of my Dave Schultz uh, little series I'm doing on, on who my hero uh, and who my idol was in the sport of wrestling, as well as my friend, as well as a mentor. Dave Schultz hit, hit every one of those. Uh, weight cutting in the sport of wrestling is almost a given unless you're unless you're a heavyweight back when i wrestled in college a lot of people cut a lot more weight uh than they do now why uh nowadays people uh weigh in at six o'clock they wrestle at seven o'clock o'clock for a for a dual meet when i was in college if we wrestled at seven o'clock in the evening we would weigh in at either 12 o'clock or two o'clock where we would have a five hour um break in between weigh-ins to wrestling to recover to rehydrate to eat or a seven hour so so people cut a lot of weight um back in my day of wrestling so i know that was a long time ago but anyway weight cutting is kind of going out but still a lot a lot of teams and a lot of individuals still cut a ton of weight and i was one of those wrestlers that always made weight and i usually cut a lot of weight uh i had it down to a science i thought there was one time in college and it was my senior year that I would not have made weight if it wasn't for Dave Schultz. It was after the semifinals, my senior year in the Big Ten, I won the semis, I go to weigh in. Now, you gotta understand something. Uh, Big Tens is Saturday and Sunday. After the semis is on Saturday, then you gotta make weight to wrestle on Sunday. So you got the night before weigh in, so you could really get big, but you had to make weight Saturday night. So sure enough, after the semis, I go and check my weight, and I was five pounds over. Not a big deal five pounds over. I had two hours to make weight. Usually if I throw plastics on, jump rope, ride a bike, run, whatever, for an hour, I lose five, five and a half pounds. So it's like, man, I'll, I'll, I'll rip off five real quick. And again, just so coaches out there understand, back when I wrestled, you could get in a sauna, you could wear plastic tops, everything else. Nowadays, you can't do any of that. But back when I was in college, you could do all that. So anyway, I check my weight. I'm five pounds over, and uh, I was sick. I actually had a really bad cold, and I started cutting weight. I cut weight for an hour, and at the end, about 45 minutes in that hour workout, I was like, man, I, I feel terrible. And all of a sudden, I go, I'm getting a sinus infection. Um, anyway, I go check my weight, and I was still 1.2 pounds over. St so I only lost 3.8, and it's like, man, I am hurting. So I go jump in the sauna. I said, I'm not going to put the plastics back on. I'm going to go jump in the sauna. Jumped in the sauna, sitting there for a half hour. Came out, and I had lost like seven tenths. I was still five tenths over, and I was hurting real bad. And then all of a sudden, I, I know what happened. I was physically and mentally broke. No doubt about it. I go up to Dave Schultz, and I said, Schultzy, I don't think I'm going to make weight. Schultz, he grabbed my hand, ran me back to the sauna, took off his sweatpants and sweatshirts, and he jumped in the sauna with me, and we, we started hand fighting. And, and you got to understand something. There is no other person in the world that I would have gotten that sauna or got back in that sauna with except one person, and that was Dave Schultz. I was ready to throw the talent, throw my senior, senior year in, the whole nine yards, because I was physically and mentally broke. He kept me in the sauna for 28 minutes, encouraged me, encouraging me over and over to hang tough. Finally, with the last 10 minutes, he had me laying down and he was giving me a back rub. And the next thing you know, I get out and I weigh in with one minute to spare, of course, and I was two tenths under. I went on to win my first Big Ten title the following day. And at that time, I realized Schultz helped me reach my goal. Because there's no other person where I got in the sauna, I would not have made weight if it wasn't for him. And making weight is about accountability, and it's also about discipline. And coaches, Schultz kept me accountable, and you know what? You got to keep your wrestlers accountable. But also, you know what? He knew I was hurting, and he stepped in, encouraged me, stepped right in there with me, went to war with me to make weight. You know, and, I, and I'm convinced later, Schultz was teaching me lifelong lessons that later on in life, when things get tough, hey, you still got to get the job done. And, and a lot of kids and parents nowadays, they want to take the easy way out. Schultz formed my values by holding me accountable, and I really appreciate that. And I try to do the same thing with my wrestlers from what I just learned from, from Schultz. 
If I notice my wrestlers are down the dumps, I will encourage them. Uh, I will lead them. I will, I will drill with them. I will push them to work harder. Also, when my guys get done cutting weight, because I know some guys on, on teams, they cut weight and they're hurting. You know what? I give them back rubs, and I, and I encourage them. And Schultz just had that uncanny way of knowing when to step in and help his wrestlers. Uh, those wrestlers always responded to him, and I think my wrestlers responded to me as well. Coaches, I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. Stay safe, keep training hard, and remember, Noah didn't wait for a ship to come in. He built one.